Today we're going to be looking at RepairDesk ticket status and notifications, how you can change them and make them work for you. My name is Shane and let's get busy. First thing we're going to take a look at is what happens when a ticket is created. We're going to go up here to store settings, email and notifications. Uh, the purpose of this video is not necessarily to show you exactly what to do, but more or less of what you can do with the software to tailor it to your needs. Uh, so I'm, I'm basically going to show you uh, some of the things we have done to tailor it to our needs. Uh, the first thing we looked at is this automated uh, repair and progress email and SMS message when a ticket is created. It was uh, not exactly what we wanted. Uh, first of all, when you're checking in a device, uh, by the time this ticket is created, it's usually in your hand and now... Uh, if they provided you with their own phone number, the, the device is making a noise and sometimes you would have to hand it back to them, uh, cost them time, costing time. Uh, the other thing that we had an issue with uh, was with leads. Um, once you talk to a client and, and got the lead and you would create uh, a ticket or convert it to a ticket, it would also send that in, prog in progress uh, notification. We didn't like that either. Um, so what we had done is we literally just turned it off. Uh, so globally when a ticket is created at this point it, it, it does not send any messages. So what we decided to do was to add a new status. So I'm going to order status and then ticket status. I'm going to add a new status. Uh, which was on the bench or on bench and it would be open and in our particular uh, case we colored it green so we have our new status and it's custom now we're going to go back to email and notifications and create a new event module would be a uh, repair ticket template we used repair in progress uh, status is on the bench email subject is uh, repair in progress description um, your repair is on the bench and in progress And then we would also uh, customize the content just a little bit for this. Uh, but I'm not going to go over that. And then we would turn that on and hit SMS and turn that on as well and make changes as needed. And then save changes. So what we ended up doing in our shop is when a customer is checked in, it naturally is set to... Uh, in progress still but there's no notifications so then once a technician grabs that device whether it be a phone tablet TV uh, computer or, or what have you uh, the technician is required to switch it to on the bench and then at that point the client is getting a email and an SMS message you know letting them know that their device has been started to started to be worked on and then uh, of course when it's completed uh, we would mark it repaired and that would send them a message letting them know uh, that their device is ready to pick up they could also tell how long the repair took because uh, we always uh, with phones anyway say within an hour uh, so they can never say it took longer than an hour because they have the messages themselves. Um, another thing that we use that's a default is waiting on customer. We didn't modify it a little bit. And basically when they're sent that uh, notification, they're queued to call in for a quote or question or a password or, or something like that. Um, we currently don't use two-way text. We use one-way uh, we have used two-way. Uh, that's a good, another good method to to gain information without picking up a phone. Uh, 
but at this time we're not using two-way and this is how we would get that client to call back in and it works out really well the client may be busy may be driving they'll see that message as soon as they can get somewhere or get unbusy you know they'll call call in immediately um, and that's basically how we handle that initial that initial message uh, is is with on the bench some other messages that we use um, or statuses uh, would be um, non repair. Uh, and th this would be a closed uh, color, I'm not really sure, um, and save that. Now non-repair, uh, we don't really use a notification for that. I'm going to go ahead and add another status uh, that we use, which would be uh, board level repair. That would be open. I'm just blindly picking colors. And another one that we use would be data recovery. Open and pick a color. Now you could go all, all day long with statuses. I think when I first uh, started using Repair Disk about a year ago, uh, I probably had. I went status crazy uh, and then we quickly backtracked and uh, got rid of almost all of them some of these uh, defaults we don't use uh, we, we turn them off um, and, and it will change just like uh, uh, other features I make videos for it's just where we're at right now we're always evolving and, and changing things and, and uh, making things better uh, but these are a few more that we use. Um, Non-repair, we don't use notifications. Uh, board level repair, we do, uh, as well as data recovery. And um, so I'm going to create a new event. Again, repair ticket. Uh, Repair in progress, status, is uh, board level repair, uh, and then we would start changing it. Uh, for example, email, email uh, subject would be board level repair. And the description would be um, your repair is in queue. Uh, now we particularly pr particularly uh, do this because when when a board level repair comes in, we tell them one to three days, and in some cases uh, two weeks if it's something that we're mailing out. Uh, and then again, you have to turn these on modify those to what you want them to say uh, in our case it would have been you know uh, your board level repair is now in queue uh, would be one to three days and uh, we use this status once the the device has been determined that it needs a board level repair we would flip it to this uh, so that client gets that message after they've already approved it uh, usually by phone uh, then we would flip it to this just to remind them that it's going to be one to three days <coughs> uh, trying to keep that that communication going um, non-repair uh, we generally will use in certain cases uh, when that when a device is non-repairable and basically it says you know hello your, your repair is not non-repair uh, please you know give us a call uh, and it actually closes the ticket uh, or puts it in a closed state. 
um, waiting on parts we went over uh, before on special orders we use that one as well uh, waiting on customer uh, canceled is another one that we used uh, the client calls in and cancels a repair before we've started we will change it to canceled uh, and so on uh, and this is just under repair tickets you've got customization under lead appointments unlocking invoices uh, and then as well as the in-house stuff uh, so you can do quite a bit of of customizing uh, for your own shop um, as well as the ticket statuses you can add these all day long uh, if you want to now in the in the end um, the communication is great and that's kind of what I've showed you but at some point so when you're looking at your tickets I'm gonna go ahead and click all you can see I have uh, repair repair collected non repair waiting on customer several different ones um, so you can search by a technician name in a particular status or you can hide closed tickets and search and on one page that particular uh, technician can see what they have going on you know this one we're waiting on a customer uh, that's in queue uh, this one's actually being worked on right now in progress uh, another one in queue and then a data recovery uh, as well as you know if you come in the morning come in in, in the morning and you want to know um, what you haven't even started on yet in our shop's particular case that would be an in progress status and click search so I can see that I have one item uh, that's not been worked on yet and I probably need to, to take a look at that and you may have a list of them and you can go in order um, and, and that was w one of the things that really changed uh, some shop and some things in the shop as well uh, once we can kind of see what we have going on on one screen instead of looking around the shop uh, so on the bench you can see what you have uh, currently on the bench you're working on it um, or uh, waiting for parts you can look and see what customers are waiting for parts I don't have any um, and that, that was a really really neat feature for us so once you once you tailor your statuses and notifications to your own shop uh, then you can actually search search those statuses and visually at, on a desktop see what is going on what you have going on what's coming up what you need to get done um, and it just changed a lot of a lot of things on how the shop ran um, again this video is not to tell you what to do it's kind of just to show you you know someone looking at the software or maybe you just downloaded the trial um, it's just to show you what you could do uh, by uh, changing the way the statuses and, statuses and notifi notifications run. Um, that's all I have for this video and I hope this helps you out and get started with Repair Desk. Again, please like the video and subscribe.